Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of July 2018. Now as you guys can see, I have already pulled out the card, so let's jump right into your reading, Pisces. <clears throat> your first card here is the Emperor, and the Emperor is all about structure, it's all about balance, and it's all about business. So again, as your current situation, I feel that your desire is the home life or your desire is to grow and expand. So what do I mean by this? It is a general reading. So it could represent the desire to create your own home, to build your own home. <clears throat> For others, it could just represent um, the expansion in regards to your finances and finding a stable job. Now, in the past and passing position, you have the Page of Cups. And the Page of Cups is the desire, the want, the communication. So for some of you guys, it could be that you're currently dealing with or have been dealing with in the past um, with um, people reaching out to you and wanting to communicate with you or wanting to set up appointments and interviews. Uh, for others of you, it could be just the desire of pregnancy, as I do see pregnancy with this Page of Cups here. Um, but this is in the past and passing, meaning it has not happened yet, but the desire is there. Again, for some of you guys with the Emperor, um, if you guys, <clears throat> okay, so for you women out there that think you can build the relationship or you can make your man hold on to you by getting pregnant, we are in 2018, sweetheart, and I'm sorry to break it to you. Unfortunately, sometimes that's not going to work anymore. So try the best you can to truly analyze the type of relationship that you have. Is it solidified? Is it strong? Was it built on concrete? <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course. If you know that this person has not been wanting to give you commitment or has not committed to you, it's time for you to walk away from that. You're keeping yourself from growth and advancement, meaning you're keeping yourself from true unconditional love. Now, what's here in the challenge position is the Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups is boredom within the relationship. So for some of you guys, it could be that you have stepped out of the relationship based on the fact of not having a lot of, um, not having a lot of commonalities with your partner or not keeping the passion ignited in the relationship. So there is, again, with the Four of Cups, it's almost like you're not interested anymore in this relationship or your partner is no longer interested in this relationship. Now you do have the five of pentacles and the five of pentacles is the fear to be left out in the cold with the hanged man here. If you guys, again, like I said, if you guys have been in a long-term, you know, long-term relationship and up until now, this person has not want, wanted to commit to you, it's time for you guys to walk away. You do have two aces here. So this is talking about new beginnings not new beginnings with the person you're currently with but new beginnings with another person but you're not going to be able to experience that until you're able to balance your energies and walk away from the situation now you do have the two of pentacles here and the two of pentacles is again the restoration of balance now for some of you guys you may be dealing with the fire sign which would be a leo sagittarius um <clears throat> leo sagittarius or aries for others of you, you may be dealing with water signs or air signs, as I do have all the signs pretty much in this spread. Um, nonetheless, the advice card here is believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself, and know your self-worth. With the Ace of Swords as a center, uh, surrounding energy, there's a need to have honesty within the relationship. There's a need to be honest with one another. You cannot expect your partner to be completely honest with you if you lack honesty with them, and vice versa. Now, you do have the Ace of Cups here, and the Ace of Cups is the hopes and desires, wishing and wanting to start and to have a new beginning where there is genuine commitment, genuine love for one another. And the Eight of Cups is a symbolization of your balance being restored the moment you're able to walk away from what no longer serves you towards new beginnings, okay? Now, for others of you, this could be in regards to business and finances. For some of you guys, you've been having difficulty in regards to finding something that is just right for you. Nonetheless, the balance is being restored and new opportunities start to arise. When you go in there to do um, interviews, <clears throat> with sit downs uh, with corporate and meetings or whatnot, be confident in yourself, believe in yourself, trust your intuition and be guided by that. 
With the Ace of Swords, there's a new offer coming through, a new beginning in regards to your finances, as we do have the Two of Pentacles here. And the Ace of Cups being able to find uh, emotional fulfillment in the position that you're in. Meaning, if you guys are currently looking for a job and you felt like perhaps up until now, you have not been able to find a job that is right for you. This will be manifesting for you, I want to say, on the third week of July, where you start to experience new beginnings and being able to walk towards something better, a new beginning, a new job, a new relationship. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.